Our next panelist is Caroline Corbin from University of Miami College of Law. The question I address today is whether it is constitutional to ban all mass gatherings above a certain size, including worship services during this pandemic. In particular, many churches have argued that forbidding large in-person services violates their free exercise clause rights. I wanna suggest that such bans can be perfectly constitutional. The current constitutional rule is that neutral laws of general applicability do not violate the free exercise clause. A ban on all gatherings, secular and religious, easily meets this standard. A law is neutral if it does not target religion. A ban on all gatherings cannot be said to target religion. A law is generally applicable if it reaches all relevant conduct. In other words, a law won't be generally applicable if it only limited religious gatherings, but not analogous secular ones. A ban on all mass gatherings, again, does not have this problem. Now, many churches respond that state stay-at-home orders did target religious conduct, but not analogous secular conduct, by barring worship services, but allowing activities deemed essential, like shopping at a supermarket or a liquor store. Now, if these activities are not analogous, if gathering at a church and shopping for food and drink are not comparable, then the free exercise claim would fail. And they really are not comparable, at least when it comes to the reason why the bans were imposed to limit the spread of the coronavirus, these activities are not comparable. The risks of transmission are greatest indoors where people are interacting with each other for longer periods of time, singing, and speaking are also risk factors. While religious services have been the vector for multiple coronavirus outbreaks, and please check the list of sites I have in my original piece, such clusters have not been traced to people shopping at stores. The nature of the activities differ. First, the typical time spent in stores is much shorter. When people shop, they enter and leave as fast as they can services are extended affairs. Second, people in stores generally try to minimize their interactions as much as possible, a feat made easier by the ability to constantly move around. In contrast, the point of in-person religious services is to commune with one's fellow worshipers. Not surprisingly, the John Hopkins School of Public Health rated the contact intensity of shopping as low and that of places of worship as high. So based on science, these activities are just not comparable in terms of risk. And therefore, based on the law, mass gathering gams are not unconstitutional. Thank you. 